Now, yeah. you know, on your website, you say that the Westboro Baptist Church believes that her gospel message uh, is is the world's last hope. So with these signs, I mean, what is the purpose? I mean, you're obviously generating a lot of animosity. Um, I yeah. think there was a, a documentary that called you America's most hated church. Um, yeah. Well, the most you hated know, family it, in America. Okay, so is the purpose of this, what, to convert people or to no. warn them? Or is yes. it to inspire hate? Because in the uh, is it the book of Matthew where it talks about, um, you know, the righteous people are, are so hated. I mean, is it a combination well, of it's three? A, or? It, it, it's what it's talking in. It's talking about the last hours of the last days of all. Christ is talking about his imminent return. It's uh, the three chapters that uh, speak to this. The same event, different Gospels, you understand, the different people speaking. Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. All three chapters are speaking about the same speech, the same event. And they all say, they all cover this issue that that um, he says, you'll be hated of all men for my name's sake in these last hours. It, he says that as it was in the days of Noah, when eight went onto that ark and God shut the door, he said, and 60, by some accounts, 16 billion went straight to hell. But he says, as it was in those days, those conditions are going to exist when the return of Christ is imminent. And he also says, as it was in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. The, until the day that Lot went out and God destroyed them all with fire uh, from heaven. And those conditions are going to exist when the Son of Man returns. So, uh, no, we're not interested in in inspiring hate. What we are, what, but what we are thankful for is that it speaks to those words of Christ. That it lines up perfectly. That these events that are happening, these fault, these things that are falling out. You see, when God is going to do a thing, He adumbrates it. You know, you know that word adumbrate. Mm. It's a it's a little foreshadow. It's a little uh, picture of it. So when he says that the land has been defiled because of these various uh, things that are institutionalized in this country, he says these five things for which the land is defiled. And then he says, and the very land is going to vomit you out. So how does that look, vomit? Well, we've had three clear pictures of it just recently. When that oil rig exploded turning those 11 walking, talking, breathing rebels against God into human projectiles, that's vomit. When that coal mine exploded and turned that those 29 walking, talking, breathing uh, rebels against God into human projectiles, that's vomit. When the uh, power plant exploded in Connecticut, you know, where they have a gay marriage, uh, it, it, the, the guys stand on CNN saying it was, it was just horrible. They flew 40 feet into the air. That's vomit. You understand? Uh, yeah, I, now I, I now we saying. got that oil. Just look at that oil. Do you know what's in oil? Do you know what there's a lot of? Uh, a lot blood. of dead, dead things, yes. Exactly. exactly. There's a lot of blood in that oil. And so, uh, and, and it's so full of lessons. It's amazing. I'm looking at that, and one day it hit me like a ton of bricks. Because, you know, in these last hours, we're not spending just a little time reading those those words of Christ and of, of the apostles and of the book of the Revelation. All of these things, it's eschatology time. That's, the, that's what you need to be studying is eschatology, and it's sprinkled throughout all the scriptures. But there's that amazing passage in, in the Revelation uh, where it's talking about turning the waters into blood, a third of the waters into blood. Now, all of a sudden, we get a picture of how does that look. And, and that's this turning these waters of the Gulf into blood. And now they've got a major storm coming this weekend. You know, we're using every fiber of, you, do you know we write parodies and we sing them and produce them? We, we got uh, one that goes with that Proud Mary song for this oil thing. I finally well, found one. I, I was going thought... to comment about that. I mean, some some of the stuff you get, you do actually is quite creative, you know. And I wanted well, to get into, you know, down down the road a little bit about yeah. um, false prophets and some of this 